What is up everyone, this is Jake back here with another video and today in honor of Mike Tyson's return to boxing I'm going to be drawing his portrait and kind of detailing a little bit of his history. Because what's better than learning about pop culture icons that define your childhood and make you yearn for the past? <sighs> Mike Tyson was born in Brooklyn, New York on June 30th, 1966. During his youth, he was continuously caught committing like petty crimes and fighting. Uh, he was ridiculed a lot for his, his lisp and his high-pitched voice. By the time he was 13, he'd been arrested 38 times. His boxing ability was actually noticed by a man named Bobby Stewart, who was the juvenile detention center counselor. He trained with Bobby for a few months, and then he was introduced to a man named Cus D'Amato, who became essentially his Mickey. I'm too old to waste my time trying to train a no-good loser like you, you bum! Sadly, D'Amato died very early into Mike Tyson's career. Uh, he died in November of 1985, and Mike Tyson had began his professional career as a boxer at the age of 18 in March of 1985. So D'Amato only lived about eight months into his career. This was a huge emotional blow to Mike Tyson. And a lot of people speculate that this was the catalyst for his future personal and professional problems. He won 26 of his first 28 fights by TKO or KO. And 16 of those 26 came in the first round. He was commonly referred to as the most dangerous man on the planet and it was clear to see why. My two greatest fears in life is swimming in shark infested waters and getting punched in the face by Mike Tyson. 23 pound weight oh, advantage. This is as bad as I've ever seen Donnie Long look, but and give Tyson. All right, they can find some fight. They can get all punches. <laughs> If I had to pick, bring on the Sharks. In 1987, he became the first heavyweight to ever hold the WBC, the WBA, and the IBF championship. He was 21 years old and was the baddest dude on the planet. I couldn't imagine the ego that would come with being 21 years old and knowing that you're that bad. He became a huge pop culture icon, a status which he still retains today. Appearing in movies and talk shows and video games, he even has a cartoon made named Mike Tyson Mysteries. Rise and shine and give God your glory, glory, rise and shine and give God your glory, glory. But you can't talk about Mike Tyson and his career without talking about him at his lowest. Tyson was arrested in July of 1991 for the rape of 18-year-old Desiree Washington in an Indianapolis hotel room. His trial took place in 1992 and he was sentenced to six years in prison with four years probation and served nearly three years and was released in 1995. Tyson had done his fair share of horrible things in the past and I am in no way defending those actions. They are deplorable. But if you look at him now, he genuinely seems like a person who has reformed. He seems very remorseful over his prior actions, even when he speaks about how he used to be so egotistical. His ego is what activated this, this monster that was inside of him, and fighting caused that. He's got to the point now where he doesn't even like to train. I'm working on being the art of humbleness. Can you be with me? That's the reason why I'm crying, because I'm not that person no more. And I miss him. Because sometimes I feel like a bitch. Because I don't want to... I don't want that person to come out because if he comes out, hell is coming with him. He think I'm scared of him. So it kind of worried me when he announced that he was going to be fighting again. I'm hoping he's able to cope with that ego that's driven him to do such horrible things throughout his career because he does really genuinely seem like a person who is remorseful over their past and wants to be a different person. Mike Tyson has been a huge source of entertainment for me throughout my life. Uh, he was very impactful to me as a child. Um, one of those great pop icons you could see and as a kid and you're like, wow, he's larger than life. So I'm pretty excited to do this drawing. But as usual, if you like and subscribe and comment below, I will enter you in a drawing to win this uh, piece of art that I make. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll be back afterwards to let you know what supplies I've used and what techniques I've applied. So let's get started.
Okay, so this drawing was made on 500 series Strathmore Bristol board, um, and I used, um, sketched it out originally with my uh, Stettler 2mm lead holder. Then I also used a Uni Kuratoga 0.5 mechanical pencil, which I like it a lot because it actually rotates the lead to keep a point on it, so you can always get a good fine line. And then I also used, I've grown to love these, these are uh, Cory Nor Progresso pencils. Uh, they are solid graphite, there's no wood on them, which is pretty cool. Um, I just think they're neat more than anything. I'm sure a regular pencil would work fine, but I like these. These would work pretty well. The um, Also, I have a set of favorite Castell drawing pencils. I really only use the 5B with this, uh, just because it gives a really good dark line. And I was mainly wanting to try out those uh, graphite pencils more. Um, and then I had, I used some blending stumps uh, to blend in some of the pencil and whatnot. And then I used uh, my erasers to put in highlights. And these are actually pretty cool. These are mono zero erasers. And this is a, look how tiny that is. You can get super fine detail with this eraser to go put a highlights, things like that in. That was Mike Tyson. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As usual, please like, subscribe. And once again, if you leave a comment, I will enter you in a drawing to win that if you are subscribed and you like the video. So thank you guys so much. And I hope you enjoyed everything and keep on drawing on. Thanks, guys.